Just so you know, there are um, two sets of things here that you have. One is the handout for this class. That is the first three sheets. They are double-sided, so don't be confused. The second thing is the amazingly excerpted ordinary, because we're actually going to try to do a couple conflict checks. These are not actual live submissions. <coughs> um, all I can ask is that you don't sit in front of the camera. There are many chairs. You can have bigger chairs. You can have. A, you do not have to sit in the tiny chair of sad. And there is a bigger chair. Is that what these are? What? The tiny chairs of sad. Uh, it depends on whether or not you dislike these you know, little chairs. If you dislike little chairs, then it's sad. If you like little chairs, then you're good. We love little chairs. They're not nearly as long. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the second handout here is the amazingly accepted ordinary. So that we have something simple we can look at that does not have a whole bunch of extraneous stuff. I don't have to worry about a computer. I don't have to worry about a projector. I don't have to mess around cleaning those meat. There's few enough things here that we can spend some time talking about the uh, practice examples on the back of the handout. So this is conflict checking 101. This is the theory, how it works. Um, because if you do not have the underlying theory, you will have a difficult time actually conflict checking, you will have a difficult time when you get to try to do things like the conflict search form class, which uh, someone else is teaching later. Um, because in order to set that up properly so that it works and you actually get good results, you need to know what you're looking for, what you're breaking things up by. Um, conflict checking, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm pretty sure that's everybody here, that's the process in which we go through and we say, I have a submission. I want to know if it is too close to other registered armory in the SCA for it to be registered. Um, this is sort of loosely based on medieval theories of cadency. I see we're going to have some uh, commentary. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. <laughs> right. Um, there's, there's a bunch of different um, arrangements, various systems, some rather haphazard kinds of things and for cadency and period. Uh, mostly the SCA is based on approximately Anglo-Norman armory. <laughs> um, and when you're doing this in period, people, medieval people doing cadency, it's really straightforward. I have arms. My first born son is going to get my arms when I'm dead. In the meantime, he may show off my arms with a label or something else to say that he's my kid. And my second son is going to get my arms with some change. And his son, his first son's going to get his arms when he's dead, and the second son, his second son is going to get those arms slightly changed. So over time, you d they d diverge. <coughs> Unfortunately, we have to sort of do this the other way. We have to say, because we're not, by and large, inheriting arms from other people in the SCA, we're coming up with brand new ones. <coughs> so we sort of have to like go backwards and avoid making that kind of relationship with other people that those small changes would indicate. Uh, so in a generalized sense, we talk about uh, distinct changes. Um, that's the rules term for it. And, and that's, that's like a little kind of change, that little one step, one generation step. <clears throat> then there are things that in the SCA we call substantial changes. They are big things. They're the kinds of things that people in period did not use for cadency. Or only a very few cases, every one, rare cases were used for cadency. <clears throat> one of my favorite ones of this is posture of <coughs> animate creatures. <clears throat> because in period, if your parents had rampant lions, you might have fewer rampant lions. You might have more rampant lions. You might have different colored rampant lions. You might change the field, you might add a chief, you might add a bend, I mean, all sorts of things. But the thing you would never do is make them dormant lines or passant lines. Those lines would always stay around. And that's one of those ones that just sort of amuses me, that that actually just wasn't a thing. Um, so, again, I said we talked more generally about Anglo-Norman armory. There are ways in, <clears throat> there are some places where certain things were used for cadency, we decided, no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to use that one. Because um, we had to come up with something in the SCA that would be sort of our set. 
and what, what are we going to call cadence steps, these distinct changes. Um, in general, the current rules, not the old rules, but the current rules, um, reflect, typically reflect later period cadency, when there was more armory. <clears throat> because that more closely represents our situation now, where we have a whole lot of armory. The heraldic space is kind of getting full, kind of crammed. So where you would make a little change, and that makes you look like somebody completely different rather than like your parent. Mm -hmm. so, just that, so there are some changes that all <coughs> rules consider. Like that change from rampant to um, <clears throat> More like changes to tertiaries. Okay. Tertiary charges are so like <coughs> a, a, a fess or a pale is charged on that entirely within the outline of it, mm -hmm. then that is a tertiary charge. Under the old rules, most, you needed multiple changes to that, or you needed to make big changes to those in order to get any difference at all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and under later periods, we said, no, that's not such, that's not a big thing. Also, we added a bunch of stuff where if you make a bigger change, or make, make more changes to the primary charge group, that's the big thing, like the big rampant lines in the middle, if you change how many there are. Under the old rules, that was not that was a small difference under the video was the big difference. Um, <clears throat> other things you should know, where to get the rules. Um, the important rules that you will want is the standard for evaluation of names and armory, aka SENA. This is what you'll hear everybody refer to it as is SENA. The old ones are the RFS. <coughs> um, the other thing you'll want is the administrative handbook. Um, I assure you that this is not something I am recommending to you as a novice herald or anything like that. Even experienced heralds, go look at Sina. Even the Sovereign's of Arms, go look at Sina. Because they want to know what it really says. They want to look at the examples. And additionally, there are a, a new thing that's in Sina that was not in the old RFS, which are appendices. Um, appendices, well, someone came up with the idea that with an appendix, with the main part of the rules, the board has to approve any changes to it. With an appendix, we change it and then just tell the board we did it. <laughs> so for anything that needs to be kept up a little bit more frequently, appendices are great for that. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few things that are in there. Uh, one of the important ones for this, um, for this class, for armory conflict, is more of the later ones, particularly appendix M for miscellaneous. <laughs> I really, it's, it's really the kitchen sink of little bits and pieces of, of complex things. <coughs> um, but there are a number of other parts. In any case, so in some cases you'll also need to um, need access to the LOARs, the letters of acceptance and return, because sometimes you'll want to know, so do these two things get difference or not? I have two kinds of charges, do they get difference or not? And you need to go look at what a previous ruling is because Cena you know, does not actually tell you. The appendices don't actually tell you. You may have to go look there. And of course, you'll need the ordinary armorial. It's online, it's pretty easy to find. So that's all well and good. Um, but the next is just how do you actually check for conflict? So basically, you want to take your stuff and go through Cena section A5. A5 is the one about conflict. Um, and you go through A5E through A5G. Most of the time you'll skip F. F only applies for things that are field primary armory. We can talk about that later, but by and large, I'm not going to get into that. That one's complicated enough, comes up pretty rarely, so not as important. I can say with authority that the former sovereigns of arms and current sovereigns of arms go look at that section of the rules when they need to use it, because none of us remember it. Mm -hmm. Um, now, yes, the good part about sections A5E and A5F is that they, if, it's, if you find that it gives difference under those sections, it's clear. Done. Just stop. <coughs> um, that's the substantial changes. You only need one. A5G, if they, apply, they give you a DC, collect them for valuable prizes, namely if you get two of them, then that's at two small cadency steps, and you're far enough away, we say you are strangers in blood, you are not related, you are uh, far enough apart for SCA purposes. <coughs> However, I just clarify, there is a section A5D, 
That is about a visual conflict. That says that if they, even if we can place it completely differently, even if technically we can count 17 DCs, they just look the same. Really, they just look alike. They're going to be visually confusing. You know, that is a return. There's no way, there's really a good, I mean, you can try to redraw it so it doesn't look like that. If you can do, you know, redesign, you can ask for permission to conflict, but there's not like a, <clears throat> it's, it doesn't work where you can say, well, but technically, there's enough DCs, they're not, they can't be visually incompetent. No, they look the same, they look the same. So, the one thing you will note when you actually look at these rules, and I did not, I don't think I brought a copy, but they're online. When you look at the rules in Cena, they will say, what, they are all written as, I am comparing these two things. When you have this, and you have this, if, there is, if this one thing is different, you get a DC. That's great. When you actually want to conflict check something, you have a submission in hand. Going and doing that one by one against everything in the armorial. How many things are in the armorial, Hermes? A lot. 40,000? 40,000. 40,000 is more ish. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a useful, useful working number. So bad idea. Yeah, don't do that. You're, you're not going to do that. And so that says, OK. The way you want to work backwards about it, you want to work backwards. And you want to find out what could conflict, you want to go see if that's there. Um, the one thing I will say, do not recommend, do not, do not be tempted by the blazon pattern search. Just don't. It sounds really tempting, it sounds like, well, I can just put in parts of my blazon and see if anything else comes in. <coughs> All I can say to you is, swords. Swords are swords, are falchions, are great swords, are daggers, are rapiers, are scimitars, are about 140 different things. If you use the blazon pattern search, you will miss them. You don't want to do that. Dogs are dogs, are talbots, are wolves, are foxes, are greyhounds, are all sorts, of, you know, another 50 things. The blazon pattern search is tempting, but will not help you. So, what is the purpose of the blazon pattern search if it is not? The useful. only really useful thing I've ever found before is, this seems like a really strange charge. Has anyone ever registered it before? Or I'm looking for somebody's arms and I know this word was in it. That yeah. also is a... <laughs> I did not know those things language. are conflict checking. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. a conflict checking tool. Do not go there. You will... You it's will a search see. tool. Okay. It's not a, a conflict checking tool. Exactly. <laughs> so the thing that you, you want is the categories. There's an index to the categories, and that's, that, that is, I know the complex search form looks really tasty, it looks tempting, there will be a plaque from that later, <coughs> but for where we're going to do this, we're going to do this sort of like the, we're going to do this the one-on-one -on -one way with the categories, the index. Um, I still find them useful even though I am familiar with the complex search form. If I want to know what the category is for something, I'll go try to find it, find out what its category is, because those are, um, Special sometimes. <laughs> yes. So, the better way to do this is you want to start by figuring out, you want to know what you have. You, have to, you really need to sit down and say, okay, this is the submission I'm, more, I'm looking at. What does it break down to? What is the primary charge group? What is the secondary charge group or charge groups? Are there any tertiary charge groups? Are there any overall charge groups? What am I looking at? Just list out all the details you can for, any, for, for what you have. I mean, certainly, once you start doing it, you get the hang of it. You can do a lot of these steps mentally. But when you're starting out, I certainly recommend, I mean, write it out, make notes. Think about it, you know, you know, or at least think about it really precisely and carefully before you get into it. Um, I know, I mean, experience crowds, we look like we just zoom. But that's because we've been doing a lot of this by hand, manually, for a long time. Um, for those who are not familiar with charge group theory, I strongly recommend to Appendix I of CNA, which is charge group theory. <laughs> um, does ever, is everyone here somewhat conversant with charge group theory? Mm -hmm. Primary charge, okay. Primary charge is the big giant thing in the middle, usually, or the big giant group of things in the middle. If there's an ordinary, like a fess or a bend or a pale, that is the primary charge group. I don't care if you draw it as a little tiny strip between two bigger things. It's the primary charge group, and it should be a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you stylized it that way doesn't mean it's right. Exactly. Um, 
<coughs> secondary charges are other things that are directly on the field um, around them. A chief is a secondary. If you have a stripe and two lions, the lions are secondary. Um, if you have a pail and it's all semi glee I mean, the, the, the flurs are the secondary charge group. Um, some of the, if, if all you have, however, is semi delete and the G, the semi delete are actually primary, just so you know, because there's nothing else there. Um, and it, if, in fact, if you just have a field and a chief, the field is the primary. That, that field primary stuff Big empty space. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and. So the pentatile also talks about uh, tertiary, and tertiary is anything that's within, you know, if you have a big stripe and there's something on the stripe, or if you have a lion and it's charged on the shoulder or something with something, that's a tertiary charge. Think about it in layers, there's the field, and the primary charges and the secondary charges are right on top of that, and the tertiaries are on. They have to be another layer up. Uh, there's a, people talk about sometimes talking about a fourth layer that's quaternary charges, and we do not allow those except it's an individually attested. So you're really pretty much you're only talking about like Tudor England. Because <laughs> uh, Ross is oh, special. In any case. <laughs> so I have some examples here in the handout on, on page two. <clears throat> so the one I have here is Argent, semi delete on a fest rules, three of scallops, Argent. So here's how it breaks down. You want to know what the field is. The field is Argent. Primary charge group is a fest. There's one of them. It's red. It's a plain line and it's charged. I'm trying to give all the details I can think of at this point. The secondary charge group is Fleur's Delete. There's semi. I mean, there's six or more of them. It, they're also ghouls, and they're also uncharged. I really would not recommend trying to charge a semi. <laughs> and the tertiary charge group is the escallops. There's three of them. They are argent, and they are on the primary charge group. Okay? So this is the kind of, this, this seems like it's a lot of work, I know, but you want to make sure that when you're doing the conflict check, when you're actually looking, you get down to the point where you're looking at your submission and something else, that you are comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges, not kumquats to, you know, kangaroos. <coughs> this will also um, helps you get right to the right spot. When you go to the ordinary and you're wandering around, okay, what could I possibly look at? You want to... You want to look at, get yourself into the right, just the right sections. You will see that in some cases, categories in the ordinary are broken down into the kinds of things that you can get difference for. Some, if there's a whole lot of, like, if you overlook, you go down to beast, you know, which is lions, and cats and domestic cats, and not tigers, but natural tigers. <coughs> um, you'll see that there's so many of them that that's actually broken down in the index into beast cat one. Ghouls, beast cat one, or beast cat one for beast in, dot 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 beast cat two or more, and so on. Or even more final. Or even and some more of those are broken beast down. Beast one passant argent. <laughs> beast one cat passant. Or oh, beast one in cat fact, cat like the examples argent. of the amazing ladies. Beast cat one argent breaks down <laughs> by postures even. And so this. This is helpful. Some of the some categories there's not as many of those you know, stuff with that charge or that thing are you know not very well broken down at all. Water bouge. Tassel. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ramp it. Just for reference, um, I include thumbnail versions of Cena A5. <coughs> um, A5 overall is well that part's not important. I already talked about some about that. Um, A5E, which is substantial changes. Okay, now I'm on page three. Yep, this is probably only need one. <coughs> Adding or removing the primary charge group. Really, that's straight up just what it says. This basically gets you clear of field primary armory from armory that has a primary charge group. That's really what it's for. Um, substantial change of types, too. You have to change the entire primary charge group. That's the big key thing there. Substantial change of number. You'll notice this looks like a very small set of numbers. One, two, three, four, many. and up. Four many. That's, that's, that's it. That's all you can get the big substantial change for. Remember, these are just the primary charge group. Okay, let me, let me slow you down on this one. Sure. When you're saying substantial change in numbers, are you talking about adding one to something, adding two, no. adding three? I'm saying that if you have, a, if, if I have, these are all substantially different. 
Argent, a lion ghouls. Mm -hmm. Argent, two lions ghouls. Mm -hmm. Argent, three lions ghouls. Argent, five lions ghouls. So those or are Argent. far enough apart that they be Exactly. Them. They're far enough apart that they are completely different. You are totally clear of conflict of them. But if you have that Argent four lion schools and Argent seven lion schools, those are oh. not far enough apart. They do not get this substantial change, that, the big one. So, the, the, and so if I have an animal on a, on a field and he's facing one way and I flip him the other way, he's not necessarily changing the posture, he's changing direction. Does that count as a substantial no. change? No. Um, I, I, this is this is the very short thumbnail version. Okay. Um, I would definitely look at the longer version in Cena, um, but I can't say that there's a, it's limited. Let me get to the posture orientation one set. Um, arrangement. Arrangement is placement on the field. This is in very limited cases. Worst changes don't count. So if I have something where it is. Perfect, Argent and Sable, a widget Sable. <coughs> that widget has to be on the top, because it cannot overlap the, it's black, it cannot overlap the black part. That is a forced change. Okay. That means you can't get any arrangement difference for it, not substantial, not distinct, nothing. For where it is placed on the field, because it's stuck there. That's its only option. Um, and there is a list of those in Cena. Just saying. Um, five is the substantial change of posture, which is what you were talking about. This is again in limited cases only. You have to compare apples to apples. You basically you have to be comparing things that can be in the same posture. So you cannot compare posture between a lion and a bird. Uh, those two would generally get changed of type between the two of those anyway. <coughs> the other part about and there. Are <coughs> The number of postures, differences, postures that are considered to be substantially <laughs> different, substantially changed, is really pretty small. They're lumped together into very few breakdowns, and they all include the contourney version. So rampant and rampant contourney are not substantially changed. They are only a distinct change, but I'll get to that but in a minute. What if one was because, you know why? Because they're in, because banners hang in a hall. They hang one way, or they hang the other way. If so, one of them was erased, then that would be a difference, right? Erased? Where it's just the upper half of the... Oh, Debbie or something. Debbie, yeah. um, if one is regular, one's Debbie, that, is a, that would be at least a distinct course. change, I would expect, but it would not it would not fall under this rule. I can't say it would not fall under this rule. So the flipping direction would be the one of two that happens. Ripping off the bottom half okay. might, might only be a D-shape. I, I don't um, believe there. I'm not sure what you may have first, discovered a test case. What, what the person <laughs> might say about about? I'm going to register that. <laughs> My husband's got his no, arms. I think with um, Alice, Debbie. Alice, had, with, if I had a, a demi sheep question, and she said that because I have the sheep in black and white, and I'm facing, I said, what if I erase them? She goes, that would only be a minor change. You would have to have this, an additional change. Uh, that that I would have to go look at precedent to find out. That would be the cautious answer. I would say that since I don't remember, since I have never seen them used for cadency, I would expect there to be a DC. I expect a DC, but I would need to do more research for the SC. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's a fair question. Yeah. To which we go, Ooh. So that's the next big thing. Run it up. And then, <laughs> 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 and then there's A5F, that's the primary armory stuff. I'm not going to cover that, that's beyond the scope of this. A5G, so this, this is the DCs, this is the part where you need two. Changes to the field, tincture, change the lines, change the style of lines, changing the number of pieces up to four. Once you go over four, it all becomes a blur. Um, and fieldlessness. Fieldlessness always gets you a DC, even if they are both fieldless. So that only applies to <coughs> badges then? Yes, that's you, that only applies to badges. Well, um, wait. No, no. Only badges can be fieldless. That's why. Yes. They That's get, the way around. They get to DC from any other piece of armory. Right. The not just other part. badges. Yes. Even okay. if both are fieldless. If you have two fieldless badges and you're comparing them, mm -hmm. they still get that automatic DC for fieldlessness. Um, tincture list also counts into there. Um, the important part to know about that is that once you put any charges on the field, 
What's their primary charge? Well, primary charges. No matter how much you change the field, you only get one DC. That's it. Wait, I'm stuck on tincture. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah, I should have said anything. Forget, forget you heard forget that word. Forget you heard that word. Just, how does something have no color? Um, it can be anything the you want. The day, we don't do that anymore. color they want. A herald seal. Herald seals are the only things that they get. See, you know, what color? See, that's that? copper colored. <laughs> but yeah. when it gets put on paper, what does it do? When it gets put in wax, what does it do? Yeah, seconds. It, 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 it like shows the color that was behind. It's, <laughs> okay. it's, um, it, it, it's considered for, for these purposes as if it were all features, um, which is one reason why we don't do that anymore. Do that anymore. There, are very, there are a few <laughs> individual badges out there that are tinctureless. Just. And that's different than having a thing proper. Yes, well, very different. Sure. Proper all colors versus just the color shorty. it's found in nature. Well, I'm so sure it's we whatever the, whatever we have just declared proper to be. Yeah. Um, the proper is just a shorthand. If I say a rose proper, that's because that's a lot faster than saying a rose ghouls barbed and seeded or. Or rose barbed, barbed or barbed, barbed, barbed ghoul barbed, 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 barbed seeded or. Seeded or that. Yes, that. Yeah. <laughs> green and gold. Bits. It's 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 just faster. Um, unless in, except you're talking about you know like a brown horse proper. Um, because a, a horse proper could be all sorts of colors. That way, if you want to be brown, you have to say brown. Um, so, yeah, tinctureless is definitely a different thing than. Uh, she doesn't like brown horses. Car, she does not like brown horses. All right. You better um, get her a white pony, Daddy. Well, <laughs> and observe heraldry in action. <laughs> She's got the quarter uh, onesie. Yes, she does. Uh, <laughs> Was it that time? I don't think so. But yeah. I'm surprised about that time. So, other things you can get a DC for adding or removing a charge group, adding or removing a, any kind of charge group. And that can be um, adding or removing a secondary, the tertiary, an overall <coughs> charge, which in period those are usually dense. Um, changing the tincture, changing the tincture, the direction of the line, the style of the line, the number of pieces up to four. Changing the type, obviously this is, um, well by and large this is for secondary or tertiary or overall groups. <clears throat> um, but in some cases changing the type of a, of a primary charge can occasionally only be a DC rather than an SC. But, or for example you have a primary charge group that is mixed. You know, perf has two mullets and a roundel versus perf has two mullets and a lion. Mm. You haven't changed the entire charge group, so it can't be an SC. But you have changed half of it, so it's a DC. Other things, changing number. You'll notice this is more options. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, more. and more. Mm -hmm. up, to, up through seven. <clears throat> um, this is because we're not, I mean, it's a smaller difference, or, you know, levels of difference that we're giving people here. Uh, change of arrangement. Again, this is, there's more options. I didn't want to list them all here, there's too many. Um, then there are for us to say substantial change. Force changes still don't count. No matter what you do, if you have these things where it's, it has to go somewhere, it has to go somewhere. Why would you, know, it can't be a difference for something that is not your choice to move. Um, so if, on your original yeah. example for that, if you change the widget's color to white, would force it to be on the other half of the exact device. And you would get nothing for arrangement, still. So you don't just get the one for the color change, the tincture change. You would get one for the tincture change. It might clear from the conflict yes. It might clear from the conflict of the one that you're looking at, but it might produce a conflict of something That is also true. <coughs> so, yeah. so if I have a color here, if I have a polar bear, it has to be an original polar bear. Or, yeah, yeah, so I have, I have a white bear on, on, on a, a field of escarbonics, or whatever the word is. Um, so I have a polar bear in the store, and it conflicts with somebody else's bear with different shaped snowflakes. If I flip the bear, it the other direction. Flip, flip the bear, change the other direction. Are there um, different color snowflakes? Or different color snowflakes. So those would be two. 
Flipping the bear by the other direction I is one the distinct change. Changing the tincture of the ascarb on both of the snowflakes right. that is a second distinct change. Or I can change the base field to be something different. Change the base field to be something different. Okay. Any of those would are, are all DCs. Now, any pair if, of them. If for some cool. strange cool. reason your well, herald is... Well, any pair of them could, yes. So, if for some reason your herald is psychotic, um, and set set the polar bear on fire. From my understanding, the flames are coming. Well, the reason the reason why I ask is I've been told that even though you've done something to the primary charge, it doesn't change it, and the heralds don't care about flames. You can set anything you want on fire, but it doesn't count. As <laughs> but you cannot. <laughs> well, I can. Yeah, but I you can. Even though you are a herald, you don't get to set things on fire, especially not. Well, she in particular cannot. Set anyway, on fire. so if, um, if for some I I I did you would want to go and look at precedent, but as far as I'm aware, putting things on fire does not actually get you a distinct change. Okay. And more than likely it conflicts with everything else that's already out there than it is a flame. Well, there's two ways. Well, no, that, that's a different thing, because you're saying get on a flame. As different. opposed to inflamed. Inflamed yes. a little... Yeah. Like okay. of flame so comes, even though that visually changes your polar bear and and star, it does not count as enough of a... It doesn't count as a DC for the heralds to carry. Yes, because okay. it's the kind of thing that I would consider a maintained, it, it's like a maintained charge. Okay. If you have a long, you know, maintained charges are things that are so generally they're... touching or they're being held by something. A and white they're... polar bear on a white field with a white dove sitting on his shoulder. I don't know, <laughs> But if you have a lion holding a sword, <laughs> a lion holding a sword is pretty common. And the thing is that we all see is, <clears throat> over time, as some this person's arms were depicted over various centuries, sometimes it would have a song and sometimes it wouldn't. And if they considered them all to be equally representative of this person's arms, then clearly that sword is not important enough for counting as cadency. Because it, com it, it comes and goes. And I, I, I would want to double check precedent, but I suspect that flames are the same way. Okay. Or inflaming is the same way. I would, I would tend to. It's on fire when I found system. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, other stuff about change of posture is that you still have to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Um, for example, you cannot compare inanimate things and animate things. They just don't. Get, you know, quadrupeds and birds don't compare. Um, and if you've got a roundel, it doesn't matter what orientation it is. <laughs> Can so, I, you not know, have a roundel fest wise? I want to go rampant. <laughs> no, yeah. a front rampant. A front all right, rampant, all right. yes. Cooped. So, cooped, that's a different thing. Um, or like a rose. A rose, you can kind of draw it in different orientations, <coughs> but realistically, you're not getting any difference for it, no matter what it is. Um, if, however, some, some roundish inanimate charges. They actually have an so, obvious so, top and bottom, like a field. So what you're saying a is a rose a by any other orientation is still a rose? Yes. Okay. What if, is there a difference between a rose and a rose wilted? Roses don't have stems. It's, no, it's, it's just a flat flowers. form. Yeah. If it's got stems, that's noise. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, a, a good one for that is a scallop. The so scallops have a defined orientation. It's a scallop shell. It's got a narrow part with a... But it's yeah. it's clearly got a hinge side. Yeah. yeah. So in that or a fion, it has a has a different a good point. Even though they're kind of roundish, that you can tell which way is which. Mm -hmm. So when you're conflict checking and you have a person who's drawn a rose differently than would you expect standard? Does the blazon take precedence? It's so a like rose. what's it's a rose. It's a rose. It's a rose. If it's, if it's a rose, it's a rose. And if they drew a funky, it's still a rose. And if they drew it's a really long stem, rose. it's a rose. Okay. Yeah. So it just gets sent back for redraw. If it's too bizarre and funky, it might. But if you have a long, swirly, you know, very modern art kind of like the stem know, rose makes and the stem makes patterns all the way around, you know, um, it's probably not going to be yes. blazon. It may not get registered. It may it may get registered, but it, that probably went off the end of the Mm -hmm. And then when somebody draws it from the blaze, and they'll draw All something right. from the yeah. Okay, so I'm down, I'm down to 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. One of we digress. We digress, exactly. Because that's all well and good. Now we have sort of what the, the rules are. <coughs> the thing is you want to know how to, how to actually go conflict check. We want to talk about how to do it backwards. Mm -hmm. So there's sort of two sections. Do you want to figure out what, what is out there that could, would conflict? If there is a conflict, what does it look like? 
And obviously that's going to be a lot of things. And you don't want to write that all out because that would be just ridiculous. But you want to think about what, these cate what they are categorically. And so there's two parts. Remember, there's, there's A5E and there's A5G. So the first thing we want to do is use A5E to get down to the narrowest focus that we can so that we have to look at the fewest things possible. Um, and then once we've got that narrow focus, we want to say, okay, so this is like the exact conflict. And I want to find anything that's 1 DC away. Because anything that is 1 DC away is going to be a conflict. Mm -hmm. Anything that's 2, I don't have to worry about it. Right? I just need everything that's where I am and 1 DC away. So, I'm going to, I have the example in here that I'm going to go through here real quick. Because you want to just sort of wrap your head around it. Per pale, Azure and Ghouls, a lion, and on a chief indented or three escalloped schools. Okay, can everybody sort of visualize that? Let's get a stripe down the middle, or sorry, a divided down the middle, two colors for the field, there's a gold lion, a gold chief with a complex line, and on that chief there's three escallops and they're red. Alright. And then break down here, same like I did for that one earlier uh, with the semi-delete. Talk about what's the field, what's the primary charge group. Primary charge group is. But <coughs> the purple is the field. That's the field. What secondary charge group have we got? Uh, that chief. chief. Correct. Mm -hmm. and are there any other secondary charge groups? No. Well. No. Okay. Here's a question. We've got the scallops on the chief. What are they then? Tertiary. Yes, they are tertiary charges because there's the field, <coughs> and then there's the, the, the chief up here, and there's the lion, mm -hmm. and then the escalops are on the chief. Mm -hmm. So they are on that third layer up. You can't draw until after you draw the chief. Exactly. Thank you. <coughs> so, you can't paint them on until after you paint them. Yeah, the chief, yeah, you can't paint them on So, if I'm looking at shield, I've got uh, blue and red, and there's a line down the middle, yes. and then a lion. Over the whole thing. Over the, on top of that? Correct. And there's no, there's no actual, the, the, the line there is like an invisible line. If you were painting it, you would paint blue right up until it sits Okay, and then the lion that. sits on top of that. The lion is over that line. And then where's the chief <coughs> indented? Chiefs are always across oh, the top. The chief. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's indented. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm good now. And then, and then on top that, of that are the, the scallops. Correct. Okay, good. <laughs> so, <laughs> we want to go through the Stick place to start out. with is. You beat me to it. No, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go through <laughs> A5E. That's the substantial changes section to see things we don't have to consider. Because at this point, anything I can throw out of the ordinary and not look at is better. Um, you want to see how much we can ignore. So, adding and removing the primary charge group. This means we can ignore anything that has no primary charges. That includes per pale, azure and goals, achieve indented or. Three escalop schools on the chief. I mean, really, actually, the same line. thing without the line. Exactly. Substantial change of type. Oh goodness gracious! Does this not throw out a whole lot of the ordinary? Is this anything, anything, anything that doesn't have a lion in the primary charge group? We're going to just ignore. Is it specifically yeah. lion? Yes. Or is it all cats? Well, well, oh. yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. cats. Sorry, sorry. I said lion. We want cats. Because <laughs> cats are lions. Are so if, there was, yeah, if it was exactly tigers. the same with a house cat. It would look silly, but it would be the same. Are you saying a lion and a cow's cat conflict? Yes. 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 They are considered, they are considered, considered the same so a tiger. Lines as okay. Lines. And a heraldic tiger is a different thing. It's a monster. But a natural tiger is also a cat. Okay. A cat amount is a cat. An ounce is a cat. So a, a tiger is T-I-G-E-R cat. T-Y-G-E-R monster. Yes. Right. Okay, good. And they, they are, are actually drawn slightly different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas in the East, I guess people will yeah. know that difference. The, 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 the tiger cat is a cat with stripes on it. Yeah. A tiger, T Y G E R, is a, a, is a standard body, but it's got a wolf's head instead yes. of a cat's head. It's got the, the, the hook. hook. And it looks like yep. a monster. And, it, and, it, and it, it's got, a, it's got a, a horn that comes up, I do believe. And it's also got, uh, the tail is also stylized. More than just a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay, I'm good. <clears throat> so, substantial change of numbers. Now, is this, this is an improvement with Cena. Um, this means that we can ignore anything that doesn't have one cat. If it's got, oh. remember, we said, first we said we're going to get rid of anything that has no primary charges, then we're going to get rid of everything that doesn't have cats. 
they're going to get rid of everything that has more than one one because that's a substantial change, mm -hmm. right? No, if I if we had armory and it had four cats, it'd be a little more complicated. But I mean, that's not what happened. Mm -hmm. One cat, so that means anything else, any other number. All right. Um, and then substantial change of arrangement. Well, really, there's only one line, so um, <laughs> that doesn't get us anything here. Mm -hmm. If there were two lines, we'd be more likely to get, you know, because two lines. You can't specify the line on one of the two colors on the field. Um, we could, but in this case, I hadn't, and that would uh, that would not bias anything for a substantial change. Um, so <coughs> then, then there's a substantial change of posture. Remember, I just said a lion. Lions default to being rampant. So this means we can ignore anything that doesn't have one cat in a posture comparable to rampant as the entire primary trait. Mm -hmm. Everything else we're going to ignore. Uh, lion of quadrupeds, this means rampant, segregant, salient, sagent, direct, sagent, and the contrary versions of these. Is, is plain sagent? I thought sagent erect was rampant, but sagent not erect was distinct from rampant salient. Not for a substantial change. For substantial change. Or okay. substantial change. So is, is right. the, in the rule set, is there a place that has all of the postures that belong to each animal group or each? Uh, yes, set? there are two. There are two places. For a substantial change, they are listed in the main body of the rules in A5E. Okay. Um, along with descriptions of what that means. No. See, that's not descriptions right. that those would but be. But you can Google. But those are easy to find. <laughs> <laughs> those are easy to find anywhere. I don't think I have. It. <laughs> but, um, Google is my And problem. for for yeah. for distinct oh, changes, they are listed in one of the appendices. I believe it's Appendix L. All tensions. So yes. So we have actually cut down. I mean, now we've cut down the ordinary a lot, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we're, we have this pretty narrow thing. So then what we get to there, we get to this little sort of section, and we want to say, okay, what's the 1DC section? And this is where there's this big, long table in the uh, handout mm -hmm. of all the possible hypothetical things <clears throat> and where the 1DC comes from. Mm -hmm. um, so, since we, so, for example, if we do anything that's changed the field, per pale tincture, not azure, ghouls, or or. And ghouls, a lion on cheap indented or three escalate schools. Mm -hmm. Basically, we're going to change one half of the field. We're going to change the other half of the field. We're going to change the comp, make the comp, the, the, the next one down is complex <coughs> line, which actually, um, this is a bad example for because um, a complex line over line with a, with a line over top of it will be completely um, un, almost certainly unre unrecognizable. So it wouldn't be registered under the current rules. But we still have to look. But but it might have been because last. something from long, long, long ago oh, could still be there. Yeah. Um, there are things in the ordinary that include fimbriated griffins. I mean, really. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, the arms are the bees. They have It sounds like a bag of punk band, but. It's a, yes, it's a griffin. It's fimbri It's a green griffin and it's fimbriated on a stable field. So, uh, this is a little bit of That's from a long but time ago. It is a long time so ago. You have to think about those, those possibilities as being out there. I guess the real question, and I don't know quite how to ask it, is: is there is there a cutoff anywhere for the? <clears throat> yes, this is technically in conflict, but it. I'm, I'm phrasing it's, it badly, it's, but it wouldn't have been. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like it's been registered. No, it's registered. It's always registered. Okay. Indefinitely, permanently, until some okay. until the owner releases it or their heirs release it. Okay. okay. And if it if and if it were registered under those rules. Even though we would never register it again, we still have to conflict check against that whole rest. Yeah, and there's some there's some special things from the seventies <laughs> and the eighties. <clears throat> so in any case, so the, so that you can see. I mean, I'm not going to go over the whole chart because I'm running low on time. But you can see there's it's basically so I keep everything the same, then I keep, try to change this one thing, like for example, changing dropping the scalps. That's dropping tertiary charge, changing the scallops to some other kind of charge, making little moments, for example. Mm -hmm. All these things, if you want to go out there and say, all right, this is where it's one DC away. Mm -hmm. And this is where it's part of, part of why programmers tend to do well at this, is they, they have that sort of methodical, you know, analytical run through yeah. mental programming of, you know, stuff to do that. Um, change the code, run the program. That failed. Change the code, run the program. Exactly. That failed. So, um, <coughs> you can 
you can read through this at some point. So then, you know, there's a lot of possibilities, but really once you're looking at it, once you're looking at a section, it's really not as hard as it seems. Um, I re definitely recommend that when you're doing it, you're, you, you see, you know, keep sort of in mind the thing you're trying to look at, mm -hmm. or look for, mm -hmm. and then you read it, and as you're reading the blaze of the ordinary, <coughs> you start counting CDs as you go, or DCs as you go. You can tell I started from conflict checking under the old rules. Um, and as you read the, the blazon of the things in the ordinary, go one, two, and then stop. As mm -hmm. soon as you can count two DCs in the blazon as you're reading it, just stop. Sweet. Save yourself that extra minute or 30 seconds of thinking about it. Um, and just move, keep moving on. <clears throat> so, uh, probably the best thing to do is to tr give it a try. So, if you go to the last, to the last page, there is exercises for the students. <coughs> and you will finally you also have the amazingly excerpted ordinary. Mm -hmm. um, because this way we can, we can go through and we can talk about it. So let's start with oh let's start with Azure a lion can turn you between three mullets or. Alright, what's our what is our field? Uh, so what, is our, what are we starting with here? What do we got? We have Azure, a lion, can turn e between three mullets or. So we're looking for... What's our field? Azure. Azure. All right. What's our primary charge group? Cat. 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 We have, we have a cat. How many are there? One. One. What's its posture? Rampant. Rampant can turn e. Are we sure? Lions default to rampant. So. Thank you. There is a table in the glossary of terms that lists those kinds of default postures, default orientations, default tinctures for proper. So just put that out there. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> are there any secondary charges? Yep. Yeah. Which are the mullets? Mullets. There are three, three, three of them. Yeah, what color are they? They're or. Oh, by the way, what tincture was that lying in? Or. Or. Yep. All right. And this is another reason why the blazon pattern search is not your friend. <laughs> because if you were trying to conflict search this, you would, you know, and you put in a lion can turn you between, you'd miss things. Just because the tincture changes are, are not all explicit. Are there any tertiary charge groups in this? No. No. <coughs> Cool. Are there any overall charge groups in this? No. Nope. So what categories in the amazingly accepted or ordinary do we need to look at? Beast, cat, or rampant. Okay. Yep. Well, we have beast, cat, one, one. passant, argent. That's the first one. Do we need to look at this category? No. No. Why do we not need to look at this category? Posture. Posture. Yep. And color. Passant. Yep. <laughs> Color is not count as an SC. At this point, we're just trying to figure out when we're looking at what categories we want to do. We only want to throw out ones that are SCs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the next one is Beast, Cat, One, Rampant, Argent. Do we need to look at this category? Yes. 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 The only difference there is the OR, and that's not an SC anyway. Let's keep going here just to go through these to see which ones we need to look at. Beast, Cat, One, Fur. Do we need to look at this category? Yes. yes. All right. Beast, cat, one, passant, or? Nope. No. Again, passant and rampant are an SC apart. This is not contained. We need to look at beast one, rampant. Beast, cat, one, rampant, or? Oh yes. yes. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. These are two sided. Oh yes. Beast, rabbit. Nope. Ermine spot. Mullet. No. Nope. You notice I'm just these are I'm just skipping right on because none of these are beast, cat. So they are just like I'm just gonna move on. All right. Ha. So. Let us start with the closest one, the beast, cat, one, rampant, or. Because we know that anything in this category, we're going to get no, nothing for the posture, nothing for the color, nothing for number of the line. So if we start here with, and it, stop me when you count two, DC, two DCs, because that's what we're looking for here. Azure, crucially for me, Fitchy, a lion rampant and a bordure or. Mm -hmm. All right. It doesn't even matter what, do we what get? that means, does it? There's, what do we get? There's the DC for the for the, um, the, for the border. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, because we changed the type of the board here. Right. Sure. You said, you said crucially, then you didn't say an attorney, and we got to two before we even got. You are correct, yeah. actually. Yeah. But I mean. So crucially for me, Fitchy is a is a but charge group on the field. Uh, um, it's lots it? of little crosses. And for me, Fitchy just tells you what kind. Mm -hmm. The lion is rampant, but the lion is facing the regular way instead of contorting. Mm -hmm. And action you can stop there. So in a Cynthia, Azure, a lion, and in chief, three mullets or? I only counted one. He's facing the other way, and he's, he's in chief. The, other way. the lion, the mullets are in chief. Oh. So that is our arrangement. Uh -huh. the, the mullets on our submission. Mm -hmm. Do, does anybody know it besides you, Medeus? Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what what how they're arranged on the field? Two and two one. And one. Two and one. Oh, versus oh. three and chief. Yeah. The, well. Okay. On a plain field, around a single primary charge, three things are going to be two and one. Gotcha. Okay. So this is <coughs> this one gets position. Position change for the mullets. For the mullets. Okay. Right. It's Even not though, an SC. It's just a DC. Okay. So, so we're only counting the normal way. So we're only counting SCs at this point. No, we, we've moved on. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. we slipped that button. We, sorry, yeah, I didn't. We, 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 said, we, said, we said we decided which categories we need to look at. Oh, okay. Uh, beast one, cat rampant, argent. Beast cat one, fur. Mm -hmm. And beast cat one, rampant, or. Right. Those are the only three we need to look at. And then we're, we've now done as much as we can with SCs. Anything in here we have to go for DCs. Okay, then. Alrighty. Um, I'm, so the, I don't want to go through all of these because I'm running out of time. Can so that's how people it. should look at other categories because and see see if you can can someone else look at uh, Beast One Cat Rampant Argent. Tell me if you find any conflicts. Can someone else look at Beast Cat One Fur? So I'm trying to remember because I know that some of the ones in the examples do have conflicts in here and some of them don't. You know, I'm very pleased to have an extra hand on. I do. Give me just a moment. Give me just a moment. I have a They are slightly lower. This is the first part. No, that's the field. And if anybody has any questions or you're not sure if there's a DC or not, say something. And I will, we can talk about it. Um, the last one in the beast category. Oh, sorry. Beast one. Beast cat, cat. fur. fur. The last All right, one. read me that. Read that. Read that one out. Vert. A catamount rampant, garden contorny, and a chief wavy ermine. Okay. <clears throat> a catamount is a type of cat. Mm -hmm. It is rampant. It is garden. Garden tells you that it's looking at you. Instead of looking out that way, it's looking at you. Right yeah. out so that counts as a change even though they're both nope. contorny? Nope. No. No. Okay. Head position does not count unless it's just the head. That's what I'm On a whole you. beast, doesn't okay. count. So it's still a, so the same position. It's still the same position, but start with the start in the beginning. We've got vert. Is that different? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So rampant, cat of mountain, still a cat. It's rampant, contorny. Mm -hmm. And what and then we have a chief. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. we have a chief. We have a chief instead of three mullets. In fact, I, I can't stop. I can stop there. Even though if you continue on to the end, you'll see that the catamount is also ermine, and thus that would be another DC. Okay. And the chief is and, and then tincture and yeah. tissue. Uh, All right. I'm so the East Cat One Rampant Argent, the third Al Alessandro Weldon. Alessandro Weldon. All right. Am I correct that there's no SC there? Okay. Can you let's start then. Azure, a domestic cat, rampant contorny. So, so far no DCs, right? Mm -hmm. On a chief, dovetailed argent. We've got a chief. We have a chief. <laughs> we didn't have a chief in the okay. first one. Right. No, wait, 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 stop there. Tell, tell me more about this chief. Because that's our secondary one. charge group, right? Complex one. We don't have to talk about that. Um, How many chiefs are there? One. 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 Go back. Versus none. Uh, Versus. How many, How many three, secondary? Three mullets. Exactly. Ah. This is slightly counterintuitive, but I, I <coughs> is that we have changed, changing three oh, mullets so changed to three. one chief. We have taken made two changes to that charger, tertiary charge, charge, charge. Oh, so it's a different. Charge. Charge. It's a second. It's a separate <coughs> item, and it's a different number of them. Correct. Okay. So that's okay. so, and these are all DCs. These, these are DCs. DCs. Okay. okay. We're still in DCs, and okay. the three swallows belong. 
On in Alessandra's, that's the next part. Mm -hmm. Three swallows, the launch chief stable, they're on the chief, they're tertiary charges. That's another DC. So but, they, but, they, but they are not comparable to the mullets. Because they're ter they're on different levels. The mullets on our submission are secondary. Mm -hmm. Those swallows are tertiary. They're in they're completely separate charges. So the beast maintaining is it's a DC from the beast not maintaining? No. Nope. Where, where, okay, which one are you looking at? I was on um da -da -da -da. uh I knew it was clear, I was just looking at it. Al Malik uh, von Conchabar Dierk is the one that actually does Oh, Conchabar Dierk. Yeah. Ghouls on a lion rampant. Okay, right. we stop, we stop even, there. Yes. Okay, ghouls. We'll check out one for the field. Right. right. On a lion rampant, mm -hmm. between three mullets of four points, elongated to base or a Celtic cross sable. Right. Um, I actually stopped when I got to on a lion. Why? Because on, in that phrasing, is a keyword that that lion is a charged lion. So, that's so, so there is a, color? a second, no, no, not even color. Because there is, we've added a charge group. We've added a tertiary oh. charge group on top of that lion. Okay. So even if the rest of that blazon is between three mullets or, then we've changed the field and we've changed well, it's added it's a color on top of the so lion. So that's your second change. Yeah, color okay. of the field. Color is my first change, okay. Does, does that make yes? Yes. Okay. I, just, I wasn't. Otherwise. I'm sorry. I, I think we got yeah, it. Yeah. Allowed a little too much to sidetrack me early on, and but I am happy to sit down oh. and talk to people about these and go yeah, through um, any of the examples. There are examples if you feel if you go through and work these examples against this excerpted ordinary. If you have questions or you're not sure, you want to know, you got the right answer. Email me. I'm generally pretty easy to find. Um, I'm not going to put my email address on the recording, but <laughs> I'm really pretty easy to find. Feel free to email me and ask me if you've got the right answers. Thank you very much.